Yo, what's up guys? We're back at it with another Madden 22 video where I will be ranking the top 10 quarterbacks inside Madden Ultimate Team as of right now. There is plenty of quarterbacks that are really usable in the game right now. So I could see this list being very interchangeable. But this is personally what I have as the top 10 quarterbacks inside Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, yes, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comment. Make sure you like and subscribe. Coming up first, that honorable mention, we do have the 97 overall LTD um, NFL honors, Joe Burrow. He's pretty good. He's got 87 throw power, 96, 87 speed, 96 throw power. Really good accuracy all across the board. He's 6'4", 215 pounds. Gets gunslinger, escape artist, pass the elite. He's not as fast as how you like your quarterbacks right now in Madden, but and as you see, he's got good ball carrier. He's got really bad ball carrier stats as well, and that's just not meta right now for Madden. He's still a very usable card, and if you can sit in the pocket, throw dots, and he could be your guy. And he's, he's got a solid release, too. As another honorable mention right here, we do have the 99 overall limited career tribute, Tom Brady. Perfect accuracy. He's throwing the runs really low. Speed. For a Tom Brady card, it's really fast, but for Madden, it's not where you want it to be. He gets the escape artist. He gets the discount of the gunslinger and Hara Master for 6 AP. And yeah, really good accuracy. He's 6 foot 4. Once again, just like the Joe Burrow, if you can sit in the pocket, throw dots, this is your guy for sure. Pretty bad ball carry stats, but you're not going to be doing much running with Tom Brady. But I mean, yeah, he's a usable card. You can get a job done with him. And uh, on to the next one. Coming in at number 10, we do have the Zero Chill. Kyler Murray, yes, the zero show Kyler Murray, 94 speed, 94 throw power, pretty good accuracy all around. He's only five foot ten, which you don't really like, but um, he should be able to get the job done. I mean, he's really fast. Gets, has a good release, generic through release, same as Josh Allen and all those guys. Good ball carry stats. Uh, pass the elite escape artist on him is really what you want to do. He's perfect for that. Very good change of direction. All that, so yeah, Kyler Murray, number 10. And coming in at number 9, we have the brand new flashbacks. 95 overall, Derek Carr. Um, 88 speed, pretty good for a Derek Carr card. 96 throw power, pretty good accuracy. He's throwing the run, not good at all, but he does have the generic through release. So, pass lead elite, higher master on him. You can even run a like a higher master for 8 AP. 6 foot 3. Um, yeah, he's he's got the good release. He's got Howard Master. So if you're looking for a Howard Master quarterback, this is 100% your guy. He's got the best release for Howard Master quarterback. Throw pass to the gunslinger on him. He's he's very very good card. I did a gameplay on him. He's a very good card. I recommend it to him. And on to the next one. Number eight, we have the playoff legends Russell Wilson. Five foot eleven, not ideal, but he does have 93 speed, very good accuracy all across the board, pretty fast. Gets escape artist, gunslinger, pass the elite, and uh, him and the next two guys in front of him are really all interchangeable. I could see, I could see Russell Wilson at six, and those guys at eight it doesn't really matter. They're basically the same card, but Wilson's the shortest, but they all have the same release, same speed around about, and yeah, Russell Wilson. Coming in at number seven, we have the limited Jalen Hurts, six foot one, two hundred twenty-two pounds, which is pretty solid. Ninety-three speed, ninety-five throw power, great accuracy. It's all across the board. Um, yeah, Hurts is a very good card. Um, he has the generic to release, same as Wilson, so you can flip flop the ammo that way. You can put Hurts at six with the next guy. It doesn't matter; they're all interchangeable. But Hurts is a very good card. Good release, good height, good accuracy, good speed. Escape artist pass the combo, good ball carrier stats. Jalen Hurts at number seven, great option. Number six, we do have my quarterback on my 49ers theme team, Trey Lance. I like Trey Lance a little bit more because I've used all three of them and 
I've had I've seen to have the most success with Trey Lance. He's got 94 speed, 96 toe power, pretty good accuracy. He's under pressure isn't really isn't where you want it to be, but it, it it's all right. Height six foot four, weight two twenty four. The biggest of the bunch of the interchangeable cards. He's got really good ball carrier stats. He's great in the pocket. He escape artist, pass leap, and you can do gunslinger if you wanted to. But he's a great card no matter no matter what abilities you decide to use. Generic through release ninety six overall rising stars. Trey Lance at number six. At number five, we probably had the most godly card in Madden history with this zero chill or out of position limited Derrick Henry. 95 speed. Only thing only thing bad about him is his accuracies, which you shouldn't notice a lot if you play with them the right way. But he's six foot three, two hundred and forty-seven pounds. That means he can air truck. He has a threshold to air truck as a quarterback. He's got the slinger one release. He, I could honestly you can make a case for him still being the best quarterback in the game, but he's a little outdated, so I put some people in front of him, but he's still a very, very good card. Speed, weight, uh, some of his accuracies are pretty good. His release is great, and his ball carrier stats are outstanding. 96, he has 96 break tackle, 96 break sack, 96 trucking. <laughs> this card is, he, he's, he's a thing, and you know, if you know. Number five, Derek. <laughs> Number four, we have Michael Vick, only quarterback in the game that can get any nice speed on a team team. Um, look at him on paper, man. He is a great quarterback. 97 speed, 97 throw power. He, he's got it all good accuracies. He's got a pretty good size on him as well, but only thing bad about him is that release. He has the slinger for release, which is the third worst in the game. And you can probably get away with running pass with them, honestly, but I'd recommend Gunslinger. I used it for a little bit with Gunslinger. You still noticed how bad the release was. But outside of that, this card is amazing. Uh, you, you can just do so much with his legs. It is, it's crazy. Look at those ball carries. That's man. 97 change of direction. That is crazy on a quarterback. And, uh, 97 break tackle. 93 break sack. You can just make, make, make so many guys miss in the backfield with his legs, especially with the escape artist. Number three, we have the NFL honors, limited time, Aaron Rodgers, who's currently going for 1.5 million points. He's got 82 speed, 97 throw power, good accuracy all across the board. And uh, if you use him right with passive lead and higher master, this card is nasty. I used him for about a week. Sit in the pocket. Use a higher master. He's got 6 2 on him. So he shouldn't hit the lineman in, in the back of the head a lot. And also, he's got the slinker 1 release, which is the best release in the game for a pocket passing quarterback like Aaron Rodgers is. Uh, yeah, his bucket race hasn't been good, but that shouldn't matter a lot with Aaron Rodgers. He's a really good quarterback if he's in the right way. Number two, we have the Combine, Cam Newton, who actually got boost from the Combine performances. So I believe he's up to 93 speed, but anything about Cam Newton is his size. Six foot five, 245 pounds, great size on him, good speed. He has the generic through release, so he gets, uh, you can get past lead to lead on him. and be just fine with the escape artist. He's got good accuracy across the board, good throw power. And yeah, all those stats will be improved because the combat performances as well. But yeah, he's a great quarterback. I used him for a few days and really liked him. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his ball carrier stats. Um, he's got 97 change of direction. He's got really good juke spin move. He's got good stiff arm, even a good truck, good break tackle, good break sack. 97, Kim Newton is a dog. And number one, no surprise here, I think. John Inwood is still the best quarterback in the game. I'm not sure when he won't be the best quarterback in the game. Came out about two weeks ago, and I mean, he's got the best release in the game for Slinger 1. He's got 92 speed, which is crazy. He gets, you can do any any of the three with pass lead elite, Gunslinger, any of the four, Gunslinger, Escape Artist, Pass lead elite, and Higher Massey. All four of those abilities would work just fine with him. And that's why he's the best, because he's so versatile. He can 
use so many abilities and still be so good. Um, his ball carry stats, not good at all really, but you're just going to be sitting in the pocket, get out of the pocket whenever you need to. But, you know, always slide down with Namath because he's not going to be able to take much hits. But, yeah, he's got, he's got really good accuracies, good throw power, good speed, good abilities, good release. I don't know what, what else more you could ask for with the quarterback, to be honest. But that is going to do it for the quarterback rankings. Uh, yeah, a lot of these guys are interchangeable. And you can make a case for about 5 through 1 to be the best quarterback in the game. But that's just my personal rankings. Let me know what you would do down below. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe for daily Madden 22 uploads. Gameplays, tier list, rankings, and all that. Yeah. So, stay tuned for the uploads, and that'll do it. Appreciate it. Peace.